You're welcome to Otis Culture. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing us on how to make off-shoulder cow kaftan. It is very easy to make. This is a requested video from some of my subscribers. And before we continue, I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you all. And if you're yet to join the family, all you need to do is to click on the red button down below to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell and select all for the options so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. The very first thing you will do, you will place your tape measure around your arm like this. not too tight and not too loose. Mine is 53 inches. Mine is 53 inches. If you like the style that I'm wearing, let me show us the back view. I'll put the link of the tutorial in the description box below. After this tutorial, you can click on it to check it out. Let's move to the work table. This is a satin material and this is a crepe material. I'll be using this for the band while I'll be using this for the bodice. I'm using a crepe fabric for the band and it is stretchy a little. So I'm going to fold for my band into two i want my band height to be four inches so i'll fold in four inches my off shoulder circumference the measurement is 53 inches i'm going to divide the 53 inches by two which will give me 26 inches 53 inches divided by 2 is 26 and a half inches. I'm going to measure to 26 and a half inches. Then I'll cut it out. I need this 26 and a half inches in two places. At this edge, I'm going to measure half an inch. I'll move to the other edge, I'll measure half an inch. I'll do the same thing on this second piece as well. Half an inch. From this half an inch, I'll connect with the cuff to meet the edge.
next is to cut it out. I'm cutting from this half an inch to meet this edge, just like this. positive side of the fabric this is the positive side I'm going to place it on each other I'll sew half an inch following the shape I'll move to the other edge as well I'm going to sew half an inch I sew half an inch, then I move to the other edge as well. I follow the shape and I sew half an inch. So the next thing to do is to turn it to the positive side. This is how I'll be turning it. You will fold it into two. This is what will go around the shoulder. This is the band. The reason why I measured half an inch from the edges and I slant it down to cut it out is to make sure that this edge that is going to be around our shoulder so as to make it relax properly on our shoulder. If you don't measure the half an inch and curve it the way I did, this edge will be sharp. It will not relax on the shoulder. But if you cut half an inch, this edge, as you can see, it goes in inward a little than this side. This is to make it relax on our shoulder properly. So I'm going to put this aside for now and cut the bodies. My fabric has been neatly folded into four. I am making use of three yards of fabric by 60 inches. This is my starting line. At this line, I'm going to insert my shoulder measurements. Usually, we normally divide our shoulder measurements into two. But for this particular style, we are not going to divide the shoulder measurement into two. We are going to insert the whole of the inches. My shoulder measurement is 17 inches. So at this starting line, I'm going to measure 17 inches. I want my sleeve length to be 10 inches. Shoulder, from this 17 inches, I'm going to measure 10 inches. I want my sleeve opening to be 8 inches. Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. This is 25 inches. This is my hip line. At this hip line, I'm going to insert my hip measurement. My hip measurement is 50 inches. 50 inches divided by 4 is 12.5 inches. I'll be adding 2 inches seam allowance, which will give me 14 5 inches. So at this hip line, I'm going to measure 14.5 inches. This is my 14.5 inches. I want the total length of my dress to be 60 inches. I've already taken 4 inches away from it for the band. I'll be left with 56 inches. So at my shoulder measurement, I'm going to measure 56 inches. This is my hip line. At the hip line, I inserted my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. This is what I have here. And from this measurement, I'm going to draw a straight line down to meet the M of my dress.
from my hip line, I'm going to measure nine inches downward. I'm going to make a curve from this my sleeve opening. I'll make a curve to join with this nine inches. I'm going to blend it to meet this line straight down. Let me do it again. From this leaf opening, I'm drawing a curve. Please pardon me, the fabric is moving here and there. I'll blend it to join this. Remember that I measure 17 inches for my shoulder measurement. This is 17. I'm going to come over to the edge. I'm going to measure two inches. I'm going to cut from this 17 inches to these two inches. Then I'll slant it down for my shoulder slope. Do not mind the way it is so wide. We are going to gather it up to fit the band measurements. So the first thing we are going to do, I will take to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew half an inch straight down. I'll move to the other edge from the neckline. I'm going to sew a straight stitch half an inch. So the next thing to do, I'm going to leave this sleeve opening. I'm going to sew half an inch on this curved area. I'm going to follow the curve. I'll sew half an inch till I reach the lower part of the dress. I'm going to move to the other side as well. This is where we notch for the sleeve opening. I'm going to start from the sleeve opening from the notched part. I'm going to sew half an inch round the curve to the lower part. You will take the band at the shoulder seam. I'm going to attach it to the shoulder seam of the neckline, making sure it is equal. I'm going to pin it down. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. The shoulder seam of the band, I'm going to place it inside. Then I'll take the shoulder seam of the bodies. I'll make sure that it's aligned together and I'll pin it down. Now, 
at this stage the band will be inside like this the excess on the neckline i'm going to pleat it to fit the shape of this band I'll pleat it to fit the shape of this band. Then for the back bodies, I will do the same thing as well. I'll pleat the excess on this fabric. I'm going to pleat it round. To fit the shape of this band. I've finished attaching the band to the bodies as you can see. So the next thing to do is to fold this sleeve opening. I'm going to fold it twice like this. I'll sew it round. Then the lower part of the dress, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll fold it twice and I'll sew it round. Then I will finish the inseam with my saja to give it a neat finishing. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so. Also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and remain blessed. Bye!